This was the scene this morning on Barry Down Road. Around 11 p.m. last night, the Greater Sudbury Police Service received a complaint of a vehicle being shot at on Barry Down Road between Hawthorne Drive and Gemmell Street. The investigation revealed that a black pickup truck with two occupants was traveling southbound on Barry Down Road when numerous shots were fired at the truck by a suspect vehicle heading in the same direction. The victims were not struck, but the driver did receive minor injuries as a result of shattered glass. Police believe that this shooting and the shooting that occurred on Denny Crescent in Azilda on April 29th are related. We don't believe this is a random act, that basically this, we believe these incidents are linked and uh, that we are treating this very seriously and have assigned a full-time team to complete this investigation. Do you have any ideas to maybe motive behind shooting? Yeah, we're still very early. We do have some, some leads in relation to that. At this point, we're not uh, disclosing that, however. Did the two uh, victims, if you want to call it, in the two vehicles, do they know each other? At this point, uh, we're still investigating that, um, and uh, I won't be commenting on that. Have you been able to... They were the same victim in the car? Was the one in the the same person or one of the victims in the second one? No, they weren't. Okay. Have you been able to speak with the victims in the car? Are they cooperating? Yes, they are. We've uh, interviewed uh, all p persons involved and they are cooperating. Can you and give us an age range? Uh, young males in their 20s. How many uh, would be on your team, Inspector? We have a full team. It's a major case management team. It's led by Staff Sergeant Alice Suma. Uh, we have a sergeant as a lead investigator with uh, constables assigned to him. We have a forensics team uh, working together with them. Also, uh, members from our investigative uh, uh, intelligence squad, uh, which includes our drug unit and uh, break enter and robbery unit, are assigned to assist. So we're putting it, this is a full court press. Which is how many approximately officers? Uh, full time to this would be probably half a dozen and then lots, uh, lots of resources assigned to assist. So do you think this is drug related? Uh, at this point, uh, we're at the very early stages, and I don't want to comment on that. Do you know how many shots were fired last night? Uh, there were several shots fired. Uh, we don't have an exact number at this point. And in Azilda? Uh, we believe, uh, again, I'd rather not comment on that. And do you know what type of gun? We don't. We believe they're handguns. Uh, but again, we're at very early stages, and it's hard to uh, determine. The suspect vehicle in both these cases is described as a light-colored SUV or van. Anyone that has any information regarding these two incidents or has seen anything suspicious is asked to call police or Crime Stoppers at 222-TIPS.